most times people get tired of situations. They are fed up. They feel like throwing in the doorway. People are tired. Either because things did not go the way they planned it or it's not bringing the right results. And when you get to this point in life, one thing you must never forget, one thing you must do, you must pray about it. Learn to cultivate that habit of praying at all times. Learn to, to give yourself to prayer. Learn to give yourself to seeking God at all times over what you want to do. When you are left with nothing else, when you are left with no one to advise you, Jesus said, I will never leave you comfortless. I will never leave you comfortless. He is always there to hear you. Prayer should be the integral part of every believer. What is prayer? Prayer is an interaction between a person and a superior or a deity. In this case, God himself. Jesus said, men ought always to pray and not to faint. God knows all things. There's nothing that can be hidden or that is hidden from him. Now, 1 Thessalonians says, pray without ceasing. Which means you are to pray at all times. People have asked, must there a time or should there be a time or certain things I must pray about? I have always maintained that there is no time not to pray. The reason is this, prayer is an integral part of success. What is not good requires God. What is good needs God to make it better. And what is already better needs God to be at his best. So how do you do that? It is through prayer. How do you relate with God? You relate with God in prayer. There is no situation that does not require prayer. There's no special time not to pray. We are to pray at all times. Whatever you want to do, whatever you have even done, that is a seed you have sown, you need God to bring forth the harvest. Some people have said, must I pray about it? Can't I make use of my sense? And that is good. But the truth is, you even need to pray about your sense that you want to use because your sense can lead you wrongly. The Bible says there are ways that seem good unto a man. But the end is destruction. So for you to get the best of your senses, for you to get the best of the wisdom you have, of the knowledge you have, you must pray about everything you want to do on earth. There's nothing that does not require prayer. Business require prayer. Relationship require prayer. Marriage require prayer. Everything good, everything not good require God. And it is through prayer you can communicate to your father God. You can't live your life without prayer. And don't think, oh, I prayed yesterday. Did God ever hear me? Or did God, had God ever answered the one I prayed? Now, the fact that you have not received answer or the fact that you are having a feeling that your prayer or your previous prayer have not been answered is the more reason why you should pray. A very good example I saw in the life of Jesus, while he was going about doing the father's business, a certain woman came to him and pleaded with him to heal the child. And the scripture has it that Jesus said no. Jesus himself refused. He said to him, it is not meant to give the children's bread to dogs. But the woman replied, even the dog can eat the crumb on the table. What? A person, what a great faith. Jesus said, I have never seen such a faith in Israel. Woman, go, your daughter is whole. Sometimes, even when the answer that you are receiving from God is no, insist, persist, keep asking for it. If Daniel had given up after the first five days, the first seven days, the first week of prayer, he wouldn't have received answer. Don't say, I pray, the answer has not come. Don't stop until the answer comes. Pray until something happens. As a matter of fact, when you see the result, you still need to pray because it takes prayer to sustain the result you have. The Bible says the sons of God came as, and, so, uh, and planted seed and the enemy came in by night and so ties among the seed. So you always ought to pray and not to faint. 
give yourself to prayer give yourself wholly to prayer pray to god about it in the morning pray to god about it at night at every point in time whatever you do your business your career your family everything relationship requires prayer don't do anything in life until you pray about it today cultivate that habit today make it a lifestyle to always pray about everything you do and i know you can because you can <laughs>